you work with what you got. This is a friend of mine's. Lives right down the road. He's a neighbor of mine. And I'll use it instead of using an actual plow to really bust the ground up good to get the grass out of there. I'll use this and tear the ground up pretty good with it. And then I got a little small plow that's actually, it's a homemade. It's got plows in the back and got a spring tooth in the front. I use it for hunting club out there in the uh, woods where it's real narrow. And it works real good for that. But I'll be able to top it off with this. And it'll, you'll, I'll show it to you when I get there. It'll bust that ground up. And kind of level it back off and then it also with the spring tooth in the front it pulls the grass out of there it works really good in the woods all right y'all i want to show you all this piece of equipment that i'm fixing to use right here this is called an airway what this thing does let me show you it's got some big old blocks on it what this thing does is you go in your field and you run this piece of equipment and it punches holes in the ground and lets that ground breathe and your crops will grow better in there. When your roots and stuff get root bound, this thing opens it up. Let me get y'all close up on these teeth. See how these teeth are? They're just a staggered teeth. They just all they do is cut holes in the ground. Now, if you hit it several times, you'll actually plow the the place up. But it runs on hydraulics, so you can actually pick it up, plumb off the ground. Now, my tractor is the, a 55 horse. And it's all she wants to pull this baby. When you're all the way in the ground, she's a lug and I gotta gear it down. I can pull it in mid range if it's not all the way down. When you suck it all the way down, I gotta go to low range to pull it. It's it's tough. It it goes in the ground good. But it opens that ground up and actually lets the water or fertilizer or whatever you put out there, you know, to go sink down in the ground. Or you can also use it for like in a field where you want to leave the grass in there and you want to plant ryegrass, you just don't go very deep with it. Just go a couple inches deep and bust the top of the ground and then you can plant right on your uh, grass like that for your winter crops. So it's a pretty handy little machine. It's called an airway. I'm actually going to do my food plot with it. So I'm going to hit it several times, so it's actually going to tear the ground up pretty good. And that way I'll come back with a little disc over the top of it. holes in the ground. See how it's got a hole right there? They're spread apart like every, I don't know, 12 inches apart. All across this ground. It's hard to see. And they're going in the ground about six, eight inches deep. What that does is aerate your ground. And then your grass will start growing and your, your uh, minerals will go down in the ground and your rain. You can't even hardly tell where I've passed so far. That's what I'm doing right now, y'all. I'm aerating this ground. Then I'm gonna come back with a little plow after that. Just kind of bust some of the top up. Well, I'm back here doing my food plot. I'm working on it. Come out here with the aerator, and like I showed y'all a while ago, you can it just punches holes in the ground, kind of loosens it up a little bit. Let everything start start working. Well, I'm fixing to show y'all a little attachment that I made for this tractor when I was doing the food plots in the hunting club. Now, for all you farmers, don't be laughing at my stuff now. It worked. I did. I used what I had to make this work. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, this little contraption right here is totally backwards from the way stuff's supposed to operate. You got a spring tooth in the front and a disc in the back. Now, that is supposed to be opposite. The disc is supposed to be in the front, the spring tooth is supposed to be in the back. But what I got here, that is the back part of a disc. Okay, that disc wore slap out. The front, the front tines on it, it was wore slap out. 
What I did is cut it off. The front part, just cut it off with a uh, torch all the way across. And I welded it to the back of this spring tooth. What this does now, this spring tooth works good. It's really good for pulling the grass out of deer plots and stuff and just busting the ground just enough, you know, to get your food plot planted. The disc in the back will chop it up. Now what it does, it puts weight on that spring tooth and makes that spring tooth go down deeper and it pulls your roots and your trash out and you can actually dump it out on the end of your food plots. But yet it still chops it up in the back. Now I'm gonna eventually have me a good disc that I, that I can pull with that tractor. I want me about a 10 footer, eight to 10 footer at that little tractor right there, a handle. But y'all, I'm gonna hit this uh, grass right here and see if I can bust it up enough just to start killing the grass in, in it and getting it ready to plant. But that is a, I don't know what you call that machine. That's a do-all. Well, there's a few guys that are watching this channel that I've did their food plots and you can ask them, it works fine. y'all we got it all busted up the first good time now i don't know how much i got plowed up there probably a good acre maybe two acres probably closer to two acres is what we ended up with but a little plow i got there a little mixture a little whatchamacallit the best way i can call it it did the job i mean it's got it all busted up got the grass cut Got it all chopped up. I'm gonna wait two or three days and let it uh, let all the grass die and come back in and that way it'll, it'll go down a little bit deeper and cut it up a little bit more. The trick with this is it's really nice to come in here with a plow and actually flip it all over. But this is your old sweet potato fields and they got what you call a pan under that ground which is probably about six inches, maybe eight inches down and it's a hard surface. If you run a plow in here and you actually flip it over, you're breaking through that pan and when the next time you go to plow, you start bogging down and you have problems. Like this, you don't, it's, the ground's not going to get boggy. I mean, you might you might go down three, four, five inches, but you're not going to bust that pan, you know, most of the time and go all the way through. But if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, guys. Check me out on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the whole nine yards. We own it all, y'all. Like what you see, like I said, give me a thumbs up. God bless. And this country boy is going to survive. I'll make it with whatever I got. We'll make it.